Once you guys, if you've got DLL errors and you want to fix those errors by re-registering the DLL files, then I'll show you how to do that in this video. We've got a Windows 10 machine here, but it works for other version of Windows. So make sure you watch the whole video because I'll show you some other things that you can do to fix a lot of corrupt uh, DLL files and Windows files. So first off, just go down to the start button here and uh, right next to that, there'll be a search box. Type in there CMD and then up the top, you'll see command prompt. Right click on that and open it up as administrator. So just right click and then click on run as administrator. This will open up a little uh, black command prompt box. Say yes to the UAC first, and then this will open up your little command prompt box here. Now once this is open, you want to type in here some commands. So the first one we're going to be doing here is uh, change directory. We need to change directory into the Windows directory. So we're going to go CD space C colon backslash Windows, and that will take us to the Windows directory. Now we need to type the long command here, and this is uh, dir star dot dll space forward slash s space forward slash b space and that little bracket, and then we want to, the c colon backslash reg dll dot bat. What that's going to do is copy all the dll files and put them into a reg. Uh, reg dll dot bat file in our c root directory so let's go ahead and take a look at that so we've just created this one now this will take a bit of time now to copy this i'm just going to put this onto the desktop i'm going to copy and paste that onto the desktop just so it's easy to get access to here for the uh, video now this is no good to run at the moment because we need to make changes to this DLL file to make it run, okay? Uh, otherwise it's not gonna fix any errors at all or any uh, DLLs and not re-register any DLLs. So we're gonna edit this file by right clicking and clicking on edit. Now if you're on another system, you can have open with uh, notepad, but on the Windows 10, we're just gonna go edit. Now this is the actual file we can create here. Now you can see we do have the C colon backslash here and we need to make sure we've got reg uh, svr32.exe space forward slash s space C colon backslash. Now we need to do this by going to edit and then replace and find what. And what we're gonna do here is put the C colon backslash inside here. And this will then help us replace uh, the C colon backslash on here with the command that we want it to be, which is reg svr 32exe space forward slash s and then space and then C colon backslash and then click on uh, the replace all. So watch what it does to the actual document here. We're going to replace all these and it will replace the C colons with the registerv32.exe here. And now we can close it off and save that file because now that's ready to run. That is our batch file and uh, that, will, that will run this time. Now we've changed that command. But before we run it, we need to uh, remove some files here that we don't need. So we're going to delete all the win SXS files here or folders. There's a load of them on here, so just scroll through here until you uh, highlight them all and delete them. And the reason why we're doing this is because this could take a very long time and it can also cause some problems. So we're just going to delete those. We don't need them. So make sure you remove all of those on there, okay? Now, any temp folders or anything like that. Uh, pass for directory for temp folders you can delete those and also make sure you delete the patch cache uh, dollar sign patch cache dollar sign you can check for those there's none on my one and this is because it's a virtual machine now you can do a search for these and do a find if you uh, if you've got a lot of uh, files or file names on there you can do a find on these and it should find them but these are not the temp files that I'm on about I'm on about a, a, a actual folder itself just delete those, okay? Now, once we've done that, we're pretty much good to go. We can then save this file. 
I'll just do a quick search for the uh, dollar patch cash here just to show you. So just type in here dollar patch cash dollar and make sure you search up and down and if it finds them then just remove them okay there should be an old a big long list now once we've done that we can then save this just save it as what it was before regdll.bat which is a batch file and uh, we're pretty much good to go we can close that off now now you can actually uh, right click on this and uh, run this as administrator if you wanted to there you can see and run as administrator and uh, say yes to the UAC which is your user account control and uh, this will then start to re-register all those DLL files now this will take a considerable amount of time so be patient don't stop it just let it run and uh, come back when it is complete now this will as I said depending on how much uh, stuff you've got on your system this will go ahead and re-register all of those for you now if you did have any issues hopefully by re-registering them it will fix those okay now if they are corrupted and damaged you will need to uh, do more work so we're just going to open up the command prompt here again and I'll show you another thing that you can do if you don't want to re-register all the DLLs the way I showed you if you want to go into here you can run sfc space forward slash scan now now this will take a bit of time but when that runs it's going to scan all your uh, system files and it will start to uh, verify these files and make sure they're okay now if you get error messages at any point here then you've got problems but if you're seeing this Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations the uh, system's okay but if you have got problems and you do want to still run a command to fix those problems then you need to go back into your command prompt and run it as administrator again and type this command in and this is your dism.exe space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash uh, restore health now this is going to take a fair bit of time as well so be patient don't close these windows once you start these processes running okay and what this is going to do it's going to use the windows update to provide the files that it requires to fix any corruptions on your system any uh, windows files corruptions or anything like that now if you've got an issue with your Windows update then obviously you would have to run a different command and I've pasted that down in the bottom of the screen so pause the video and read that uh, bit of text there and it will explain everything you need uh, on how to uh, run this with a CD in the uh, DVD-ROM drive or if you're on a network and stuff like that. But pretty much that's it. The operation should be successful and you should be back up and running and all your uh, DLL errors should be uh, resolved. I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos. <laughs>